say good morning, Earl. I was like, hey, people are disturbing my peace today. All right. We are making dragon eggs as it's so freaking cold outside this morning. Of course, the uh, Russ there, he's used to it, aren't you? He's nothing. Just be in short pants. And uh, let me show you how easy this has gotten. So what we're thinking here on the dragon egg thing is that we could, if you can't make one of these molds so that you can make Christmas gifts for next year or birthday gifts along the year and do your own dragon egg business, that uh, we could make molds for you, which is nothing more than all well, these pieces here, the, the bottom with the pin. See, give me that. Oh, you broke it. <laughs> it's too hot. Take that piece of wire and dig it out of there. The cold, top though. and the bottom, you think it's too cold? Mm -hmm. Oh, it is, yeah. Yeah. We could um, spread it out with the. Well, I can throw it back in the pot here in a little bit. Let me show you what, what the Russ. Where's Eli? Eli's back over there, too. Say good morning, Eli. Morning. Morning. Eli's, we're working on. Uh, a gadget to sh cut down all the batteries because we had a wonderful gift. Oh, look at the dogs there in here being warm this morning too. We had a wonderful gift come in from uh, Matthew and Alpine uh, Power Systems. And they got us this box in here. Earl, how are you doing? Yeah, can we leave you alone? No? Okay. And we have, uh, look at this, this is, um, uh, Fillers, I haven't even looked through it yet. The main thing that's in here is all the fill caps for our batteries or the watering system. And not just those, but they actually dug out and they don't even, I mean, we got every last one they have with the little adapter that uh, it, it just goes, it's like a bushing. It goes in the top of the battery and closes it down so that these fillers fit in. But the rest of this stuff is hoses for connecting it all together and uh, filler pumps that can be done manually. You gotta put the right amount of pressure into these things to fill them. And there's little flow indicators there. And this is, uh, somebody mentioned this, these are little electronic uh, sensors that uh, indicate whether the uh, battery has uh, sufficient water in it or not. And we're gonna give a couple of those a try. The, uh, my thought on that is though that it may be uh, no, that's all right. It may be, um, um, they're not loud. Hey, just talk, talk away. Talk away, just don't talk loud. But I'm gonna go show you the, the other thing. I said everybody talking to The, the guys brought down from Michigan for us. Okay. Man, it's cold. Yesterday it was like 44 degrees out, something like that. Today, the high is 20, I think. The wind's blowing 25 miles an hour out of the north here. But there, yeah, so you're gonna have some wind noise here. Hide behind Bart's truck. Take us, you're excited about the cold, aren't you? Damn, yeah, yeah, your nipples are gonna freeze to the ground. That is a, is a, is a uh, Volkswagen diesel engine. We got a hell of a good deal on it. And up in the UP, and the, uh, it's a 1.6, so it's not the, uh, I can't remember what the horsepower is on it. I think it's like 65 horsepower. Uh, and we're going to start with that one because I understand, I'm told, by uh, those of you that know about everything there is to know about Volkswagen diesels, is the mounts on this engine, um, I guess it needs to be covered, doesn't it? The mounts on this engine are the same as the 1.9, which is 100, almost 100 horsepower. And so we're going to start with this one, and we'll, uh, you know, if we have to move up, then at least we'll be able to sell this one off as a running engine to show that it runs and everything but it should be in good shape and so that'll be our starter engine this is for the tender a tender is the uh the small boat that goes out behind the big one and it's gonna be an important boat for us because it's the one that we you know people say we're gonna be docking and you need ballast thrusters we're not gonna dock we're gonna use the tender to get into shore and such the other thing that's going on today is we have loaded up out here in the freezing cold all of our lumber that's been planed on both sides my little truck out there is full and we put the rest of it on Bart's big truck and good morning to you Bart. I hope you're watching. Bart's got the flu. So everybody let's go. Oh, but no, he really is. He's a dog. 
Maybe he's watching. But he's coming along in his little tiny house. So, see, what else do I need to show you? I'm out here in the cold. Nothing, I think. Oh, we're going to try and bail up some of our cedar shavings. So, if uh, what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to sell you. I think we're going to do the molds. And then we're thinking of trying to figure out a way of vacuuming those into a uh, trash bag today. And the idea is that we can sell you the materials that you need to uh, make uh, dragon eggs up as gifts or to sell them. You know, it's nothing that we want. It'd be kind of cool to have people all over the United States, you know, making a product that's kind of the thing and selling them into stores. So that's kind of the thought process there. And wouldn't it be cool, Russ? Wouldn't it be cool mm -hmm. if we had a machine? Oh yeah. No, don't put the last of it in there, because I need some of it to go over into that pot. So that's all we have left. That's all I have left. So we might have to go to Walmart to get wax. You guys have been seriously buying to me of these dragon eggs, okay? But you guys are good. You got what? Is that wet? Are you hitting the water with them? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. They're not stuck in there. How much wax can you buy at Walmart at a time? What votive candles? I think you can buy the slabs <laughs> like we buy. So we buy, we buy slab wax. Yeah, that's what I, I used. I've never seen that at Walmart. You haven't? No, sir. Try try Hobby Lobby. See if they got yeah, it. Yeah, they don't have it at craft stores. I've seen it like Michaels or. Michaels. Yeah, we got a Michaels. We got a Hobby Lobby here in town. The, the, the Michaels is like okay. What? I am paying more to mix things than I buy at Michaels. Yeah, I know, and but. I love to just buy it. At They're that expensive? Well, that's why making these makes sense for gifts. Oh, you're finally going to clean your tongs off now that I'm looking, huh? The second show. Do you have one that you can show them the tong thing on? Mm. No, because you're waiting to heat the wax back up. But we're dipping it with tongs, and one of the tricks we found out, too, is uh, out of the, the wax into the water, and then it can go straight into the, uh, the egg carton. Oh, and the other thing we're doing differently today, hand me one of those. These? The eggs. eggs. Yeah. The other thing we're doing differently today is what I was doing is I was shoving the maxes in and submerging the thing in the in the wax so the wax flooded down the inside of it. So if you're getting some of these as a gift, they're going to be the next one's generation is going to be better because what we do now is what that did is encase the matches in wax, but they were really hard to get the matches apart. You got to you know take your fingernail or a knife and something and cut the matches apart to get them out of that wax glob in the center. So what we do now is we uh, drop the matches down the hole and then take a little piece of wax. Are you using wax or something? A little bit of this stuff. A little bit of that stuff, yeah, a little bit of the shavings and make a cap over it. And then the tongs hold onto it so you can just barely see the tong mark on the side of the egg there. And he smurses the whole egg so it coats it over. And the wax, we, we dip the matches. Are you dipping the matches in wax before putting them in here? Nope. Just going in straight? Just going in straight. We probably ought to dip them first just to make sure they got a little more wax around them. We'll break a few apart and see how they work. But the idea is that then if the match, well, I made this better, because then you don't have to scrap the, scrape the wax off the match. Yeah, that was, that was my whole Yeah, so I think it's going to be sealed up enough like this. Mm -hmm. I mean, it wouldn't go underwater, but how many times are you going to put your backpack underwater? Well, we don't have no flash Not, that many, Not that many times. <laughs> so I think that will be a good way. So what you do is you break it open, the matches should be in there with uh, and protected. So we'll give we'll give a few of them a try. We're, we're going to change the product, so what you get will... We'll keep changing, and uh, we're gonna try and. Oh uh, yeah. Ooh, I get the lavender. You can tell too. Yeah. You can smell the lavender. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, well, yeah. what it does is it, it doesn't make it not manly. I think lavender is. It makes it appeal to a larger audience. Yeah. Yeah. Look at all that. So there's all of our cedar. So we're gonna try and bag this up in smaller bags so that we can ship, and then we'll put a. Um, then, so what you'll be able to do then, so hopefully in a month or so, when we get figured out changes, is you'll be able to buy one of these rigs from us with the, the, the four parts, and then buy some cedar shavings from us. Shoot, you can get wax from uh, out of Texas if you're going to do very many of them, or maybe a hobby store. We'll check on prices for that. Maybe you guys know that. And then you can make uh, Christmas gifts up for next year. And you can make your own stamp for it, so you, know, you can put your name across it, or your family name across it, or your business name, or something like that, and have your own dragon egg store. Okay. Did I talk about shaving off the batteries? No. No. Um, Eli here is a woodworker. In fact, he's a graduate of Michigan. Michigan What's Technological it? University. With a uh, ma with a degree uh, in forestry. Bachelor's degree in forestry. Bachelor's yeah. degree in forestry. Yeah. 
Yeah, so if you want to hire a forestry guy, there's your guy, Eli, right there. Oh, I didn't show him your motorcycles. You gotta go and show him your bikes. So I'm oh. thinking with that, if we can put a piece of wood across these two, cut a piece of wood, drill two holes in here, so we've got a frame, mill out a center. This doesn't have a roller bearing on it or anything like that, so you just kind of have to eyeball it as best you can without going into the wood. But if you get a frame on there with the edge of this cut, you can do the top of the cap here, somehow plug that bottom hole and just cut it off with whatever saw we well, got. Well, once this cap is off, we can reach underneath there and plug that. That's what I mean. Yeah. We cut this off. And then put a plug, off. Uh, put something down in mm -hmm. plastic plug I'm down. I'm boiling. This thing, I'm going to turn it down or off. So these things are, uh, wait a minute, uh, Eli. Yep. If you put the board over these lugs, that's to hold it from moving sideways? Does it also Just touch? Just to hold a frame on here. I mean, we could we could definitely have it stand off here and mount onto those two so it'd be solid. Oh, I here. see. I see. Just something with a hole and a guide on here to make sure you don't run too far in one direction or the other. Right. What kind of wood do you need to make that happen? Anything really. I mean, some pine out there. We yeah, have planer. Any, any scrap will work. Make a few of them because they're going to get wallowed out by these, pounding them on and off of there because they're all at slightly different angles. But Well, what if we made it so that it went down over the side of the box? Can we just put a stay on it? Yeah, I mean, I think it'll be plenty rigid just if cut, it's just got two just, legs. Just cut a hole out so it misses this. Mm -hmm. All right, well, get on it. Okay. All right. Are we interrupting? Are we green? I'm good here. We're green over there. Yeah. So it's just me. Yeah, it's just you. Yeah. Do you want some of this stuff in there? Yeah. Uh, go ahead and start. You might want to take get some gloves and take the pot, put it on the floor, and then start mixing that in. Okay. But you here. Yeah. You definitely need gloves on that. And you got to mix in as just as much as you can. Then use the drill there to stir it in with. Yes, sir. I'm glad. That's the problem. I want to go out and show them your bikes. You want to come out and, I don't know. Ross, do you want to come out and, uh? Are you going to come back in or then you're going to say goodbye? Uh, I'm going to. A few things. Do you? Yeah, you don't remember me. <laughs> okay. I'm going to have a, oh, look at how pretty that is. You going to do your few things now? And we'll say goodbye out there. Okay, so what you got? Yeah, well. Just dragon eggs, coffee mug, same old stuff. One Lego kit for sale. Might have two more. That's about it. See you, bye. Because Lego kits are, 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 they've done well. Well, we don't make much money off of them. No, they got a lot of work involved in them. Oh. The hats, you show them your hats. Oh, yeah, everybody. You got hats on. See that? The cap is now on the on the uh, website. Um, hey, Russ, Eli, you mm -hmm. know, show me your bikes. Sounds good. Yeah. These guys. I showed them the hats. We have hats for sale. What'd she say? How much? How much for the hats? I think they're 15. Okay. Yeah. Hats are 15. It means they're just insanely overpriced. So if you don't have a, if you owe money in your credit cards, do not buy from me. Pay your credit card bill off. Yeah. This is this is for people that don't that have money to throw away. What's that called? What's money you have to throw away, Paul? I don't know what that is. I've never had that. <laughs> I got a name for it. This is what these guys are doing in their spare time. We call this, I didn't ever know, you call this a hard tail. Yep, this is a hard tail. A soft tail is one that has a suspension. Yeah, full suspension. And if you cut the suspension away, you call it a hard tail. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we cut the that just seems like, off of that bike. Why would you do that? It's cool. It's just cool. Mm -hmm. It is neat. You made the, the frame and everything. Yeah, so we bought a kit of prevent tubing, but we did all the... Because you didn't have a way to build the tube, to make the tubing? To bend it, yeah. Yeah. I just love the block of wood. The axle was too long, so they threw a block of wood in there. Have you ridden it with that on there? Oh, not yet. We haven't ridden this bike yet. It's still, still just a roller. Yeah. A roller? Mm-hmm. Uh, and which one didn't have any brakes on it either, did it? Yeah, not yet. They're, they're both mounted on there. We just haven't hooked up. You haven't hooked them up yet? yet? And this one is a gold wing. Yep. It's an 83 GL 1100. So it used to have big fairings on it, saddle bags. You know, it's the comfort cruiser for two people riding yeah. the interstate, you know? Yeah. No, that's my bike because they're not, they're not loud. It's and, now kind of the anti-comfort bike. Yeah. And it's got a it's got a shaft drive on it. Yeah. That's cool. 
Yeah, and then it's a boxer four. And so that is the actual seat. Yep, that's the actual seat. Hop on that thing. Yeah. <laughs> you know, have you ever thought of? And so that you're make you're ruggedizing a, a nice bike to kind of make a statement and stand out. Is that what it is? Something like that. Did you get one of the least was dropped first? So the saddlebags and all that was messed up? That does look cool. Uh, that's, it was in pretty good shape, actually. It wasn't rented when I got it. Now, if the road's wet at all, you're just going to be s sopping down the back side. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But all right. Russ did a custom exhaust on that, too. And it, uh, it blows smoke oh, yeah. rings now. If you, oh, does it? Yeah, when it's like warming up and it's a little smoky on the choke, it'll, it blows smoke rings right out the exhaust pipes. All right. It is cool. All right, I'm going to go back in and see what Betsy has anything else. Say goodbye here. And then we load up pretty soon. Oh, that's somebody who wants a tour. You want to go say hello to them? And uh, we're going over to uh, our friend Tim's here in town. Tim, if you're watching, we're, we're, we're loaded and ready to roll your way. When the time comes, we'll see you at 1230. And we're going to uh, cut all those boards out there. Hey, you got Amber working? Yeah. Oh, good job. Okay, so that's it, everybody. Thanks for watching. Go have a good day. What'd you make today? Let me see if this says it. Says it. Trying to reconnect. Oh, you're now, finished now. When you have a little liquid showing, you need to add more stuff. Yeah. You don't want no liquid showing. Well, I don't think you'll get it that way.